The big day at the WKU softball complex as the Hilltopper softball team hosted their first power five ranked opponent of the season with number 19 Indiana coming into town. A special occasion happened on the mound to start the game as new men's basketball head coach Steve Lutz threw the first pitch as everyone was excited to welcome him to the hill. The tops knew this game wasn't going to be a walk in the park and the Hoosiers got the bats going quickly. Taylor Minnick with the hard hit ground ball. It gets past TJ Webster for an RBI single to grab the Hoosiers first run of the game at the top of the first. Then at the top of the second, Taryn Kern knocks one out of the park for a two run homer as the Hoosiers were feeling all of the momentum. But Katie Gardner found her rhythm in the circle and the tops defense came to play. What a diving catch this was by third baseman Kennedy Foote. And watch this, a high ball to center field bounces off the wall. Faith Haig with the quick throw to second as the runner makes a move to third, but Webster gets it to foot for the tag out. The tops did everything they could to get the bats going, but the Hoosiers defense couldn't be stopped. WKU falls to Indiana three to zero and after the game, head coach Amy Tudor was proud of the way her team played and said it just wasn't their day. But I felt like everybody stepped up and did their role and did their part, especially defensively. That was something that I was really proud of our effort and how we were in the game and hopefully we showed what we can do defensively and offensively and we've got to figure out a way to score some RBIs. You know, that's the biggest thing. She brought a lot of runs in. Um, we have to figure out a way to manufacture some runs a little bit better. Uh, but again, I thought we looked confident. Uh, just the ball didn't fall our way. This was the first time the tops hit the field without third baseman Taylor Sanders, who was hit by a pitch in the series finale against Charlotte on Sunday and is out for the rest of the season due to a broken arm. But first baseman Jess Bush says that they had to step up and play their game. We uh, had talk as a team, not, I mean, I think yesterday, talking about it after it happened and just how everybody in the lineup needs to step up that much more because Taylor did provide our team with a lot of RBIs and she is gone, but we can't control that, and it sucks, and it's a terrible situation, but all we can do is even more for her and then our two uh, fifth years, Faith and TD.